Well, shares of Macy's took a hit last week. Investors were concerned about retail sales and also the impact of a weaker U.S. economy. The stock is down more than 7 percent, almost 8 percent year to date, uh, though it is still up an impressive 37 percent from a year ago, the year having just started. We are joined this morning from the Javis Center uh, in New York City by Macy's chairman, president and CEO Terry Lundgren. Uh, Terry, great to have you on the program. Uh, and this 8 percent drop, how worrying is that for you and your share price? It's not, well, listen, of course, I'd, I'd rather be 8% up, I'd rather than 8% down. But, you know, I really can't focus on that, Betty, because here's the, here's the truth of the matter. I, I predicted that our, our company would be up 3.5% three, three to 4.5% on same-store sales in the fourth quarter. We're up 4.6%. So my predictions are right on track. I'm at the high end of my predictions. But I think some of the analysts have gotten a little bit ahead of ourselves. And uh, the fact is, is that we're up 4.7% uh, on same-store sales for the year for 11. 11 months, and uh, that we started the year off saying we're going to be up one to two percent. So we feel great about the performance of the company, about how we're heading into the first half of 2011, and the fundamentals uh, attached to the Macy's and Bloomingdale's business. So does that mean that you see those same numbers or that same growth momentum going into the rest of the quarters for this year? We haven't forecasted 2011 yet. We never do until a little bit later on here. Our year doesn't end for another uh, three weeks. Uh, at the end of this, uh, this period, we'll announce both where we, where we stand in terms of our final uh, uh, full year performance, but also forecasting where we think we'll, we'll be for the uh, 2011 year. But we feel good about, again, all the things that we put in place. There's no reason why they, they should change dramatically in terms mm. of the momentum that we've uh, seen in our own business thus far. Uh, Terry, what does inventory look like coming into this new year? Very good. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're trying to manage our inventory always to have it uh, at, a, at a lower growth rate than our same store sales growth rate. And so we've managed to do that all year long, and, and uh, we're, in, we're in good shape. I think most retailers have figured out how to get their hands around inventory and forecast uh, in, in the same, uh, same way that I'm talking about, and that is try to make sure that your inventory is at or below what your, your projected same store sales growth is about to be. What's the, well, what's the difference? Because what happened at the end of last year when some of the retailers kind of lost control a little bit of their inventory? And what's the change this time, this time around? Well, a year ago, they certainly, a year and a half ago, they certainly did, because when the, when the economy, you know, uh, reacted very negatively in, t in the end of 2008, no one was ready for that, of course. And, and we, we order inventory six months in advance on average, some longer than lead times and some shorter, but on average, about six months in advance. So, of course, you're, you know, if you're, if you're running at two and three up and, and all of a sudden you're running at two and three down, mm -hmm. uh, you've got to make quick adjustments. And it just takes, just takes time to get through the system. But I think since we now have done that, we've got a sense about where we're going, at least most retailers do, uh, then you know, we're able to forecast much better uh, today than we were uh, 18 months ago, two years ago. Terry, for the retailers, one thing that's considered uh, an uncertainty is raw material costs and also labor costs, particularly coming out of Asia. Uh, how are you going to deal with that? Well, I think it's going to hit everybody, so uh, everybody's going to be on the exact same playing field. There will be a rise in, in both labor costs as well as material costs uh, for certain fabrics, cotton being the lead one, but that'll put pressure on other commodities as people you know, move to, to other fabrics uh, and supplies. So that'll happen in the second half of 2011. There is not, not any expectation that'll be any material uh, difference in uh, retail pricing in the first half, but it will impact the second half. But as I said, you know, when everybody's got the issues, it'll just be a matter of making sure that you ultimately are giving great value to the consumer. And the consumers have learned this subject very, very well. It mm -hmm. used to be that the consumer is very focused on one thing in the last 18 months, price, and the lowest price possible. Now, they demand not just price, but the best value. And that means that at whatever price they're paying, they right. want to make sure they're getting great value for that product. Okay.